guys and welcome back to another coded car conversation and today i want to talk about artificial intelligence so for those of you who follow me on other platforms i mentioned that i will be talking about artificial intelligence because i recently embarked on this journey of learning more about artificial intelligence or ai in healthcare and so what i've learned thus far is something that we have already been doing like we've already incorporated AI into our daily um, activities, our daily functions. Whether we know it or not, we've already done it. Um, It's no surprise to me. I think more so I'm getting more of a background or or we would say a historical um, knowledge or a little bit of historical understanding of artificial intelligence. So um, we're good. You know, thus far we're good. And so... And the reason why I say that, um, actually, AI is here to help us, pretty much. It is here to help us, help us to speed up our processes. It helps um, to reduce uh, human error as it relates to the coding and in other areas as well, like, you know, healthcare, like the um, the medical providers. So um, for those of you who are currently working in, in the healthcare setting, you're already pretty much... Um, involved in AI, you are familiar with it. Um, One of the big things about AI is the automation process. So if you are a stickler for time management, or in my case, like I'm an entrepreneur, so a lot of things that I do in my business are automated, right? I schedule those, those, those processes or those items such as content dropping, it's scheduled for a set time or ahead of time. So it may appear that, um, I'm I'm dropping it in that moment when I'm actually not. I'm doing something else. So that's kind of how AI is. It, it takes away some of the administrative um, work that we do to uh, improve the processes so that we can focus more on the actual work or the complexity of the work that we're doing. So in our case with the medical coding, it, it helps us to focus more on the complex cases. And then for those who are like healthcare providers, it allows them or frees them up to have more time dedicated to actually treating the patient, right? For, you know, treating the patient, treating their diagnosis, the complex issues that, medical issues that they may have. So I know there has been like a lot of skepticism, a lot of anxiety, a lot of concerns in regards to AI taking over. Yes, we we're going to be taking over by robots. We've already been taking over by robots, right? Um, so yeah, so but nonetheless, it is here to help us. It's not here to um you know take over in a sense of like weed us out. And so I know there's also been concerns like, well, okay, if that is the case, what are we to do? Um honestly crickets right um it really depends on you have to utilize your skill set your experiences in other ways and i shared that in my video about the different way different streams of income where you can maximize on your certification and so you can do that even if ai doesn't take over and i'm not saying that it is i'm just saying that even if it doesn't take over you still need to implement some type of other stream of income or passive income, or something, and it could be tied into your passion, your purpose, what you like to do, right? So, and I shared again in that that same video how I kind of how I generated or started generating those different streams of income, and so I'm into like the content creation, and so if you, again if you follow me on the different platforms, you will see how I've started implementing a little bit of AI into my content. It's quick, it's easy, and um, I can put in a term like digestive system, and uh, and immediately I'm going to get some content um, specifically to the digestive system. And so I can um, create it, uh, you know, and create content off of it to educate my whoever's listening, my learners, or who's ever watching. And so, yeah, so that's really there, it's there to help to streamline, to make certain processes easier for us to um, pursue. Um, it allows us to, especially, let me go back. So, like, let's say if you, fo- if I'm, I'm going to say, actually, 
AI is kind of like a business, right? Um, like, for example, you have a gift or a talent, but, you know, and people are paying you for that gift and talent. And so you have to, you know, you have to set up a business, right? But you don't like the business part of it, right? Like, you don't like the, 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 like the contracts and all that stuff. You like creating your content. Yeah, right? Or you're, you like focusing on your gift and talent. That's like a chef or, again, in our case, a coder. We like to focus on the coding part of it. We don't like the business part of it, like the legalities that comes with it, the contracts, the negotiation, all the, all these things that come along with running a business. We may not like that part, but we like, again, we like the talent or the purpose or the hobby that we're doing. So that's kind of like AI. AI is like the, the your business manager. It's like, that, it's like that person that will go before you or negotiate the contract so that you can focus on your coding. That's really what ai is and that's what i've i've gathered thus far but like i said i just started in this journey of learning the historical background of artificial intelligence and like i said if you're following me on other platforms you will see how i have started implementing ai in my content and it's and it has done uh it saved me a lot of time it does wonders and it the yeah yeah that's all I got. yeah <laughs> so again, for those of you who are interested in learning more or, or had some concerns, I'm here to bring a little ease to it that your job is not in jeopardy. Again, it's there to, it's like a collaboration. It is there to help you, to compliment you so that you can focus on the thing that you uh, are called to do and that is medical coding. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and insert that other video about generating or how to create different streams of income or maximizing on your certification in this video. But again, as I progress through the journey of learning more about AI or artificial intelligence, I'll be sure to upload a video and just kind of give you a little bit more insight into it. So that's all that I have for the week. So as always, y'all code on until next time. Bye.